This video is brought to you guys by BetUS. BetUS can take care of all your betting needs. This week is crazy. The Cowboys are 10 point dogs. 10 point dogs versus the Commanders. My, how the mighty have fallen. I will not be picking Dallas to win, but I will probably play that 10 and pick Dallas to at least cover. BetUS, BetUS, NBA, NHL, all your betting needs, even NCAA basketball and football bet us can take care of all your betting needs thank you bet us for sponsoring this channel now let's talk about abdul carter micah parsons clone yes i said it he is micah parsons clone foots what do you mean micah parsons does a lot of things he podcast he's sumo wrestling with cj shroud in the off season he's doing all these things but Micah Parsons has changed this defense. I, there's no way I'm trading him. There's no way that I feel bad about him. Even in the Texans game, when you watch this guy play football, he's literally a one of one Well, now he might be a 2 of 2 because when I watch Abdul Carter, I think to myself, him, DeMarvin Overshone, and Micah Parsons on that defense could flat out be scary. It could be amazing. When you think about two athletes that can bend the edge like Abdul Carter and like Micah Parsons. And really when you think about their career arcs and their career paths and how they started and how they got good, both coming from Penn State, both being off-ball linebackers, transitioning to DN, it's special. Let's talk about Abdul Carter. So as a freshman, true off-ball linebacker, blew up the scene. And what happened was his junior year, he started to davy in playing defensive end. He didn't have the same numbers his junior year. This year, it's just been lights out. Eight sacks. The pressures, he has the highest win rate in the NCAA. I mean, if you watch the Ohio State game, it's he, he took over the game. And that's against great competition. You watch the Washington game, two sacks. And the cool thing about him is when you watch the Illinois game, he was actually playing off ball in that game. So he was a spy against a good quarterback. So, again, when you're watching this guy, some of his strengths, his burst is incredible. These guys have the unique ability to close distance. It's almost like a cheetah chasing down his prey. They can close distance on running backs. They can close distance on quarterbacks. He, he was one of Bruce Feldman's um, freaks list. Like, this guy has that unique athletic ability. It, it's, it's nothing like I've ever seen. He also has the ability to peel back in the run. So, if he's on the edge and they're running, let's say, zone read, he has really good feel like he understands, okay, I need to peel back in. There are times, if you're talking about a few of his weaknesses, there are times where if he's getting a head-on block or if he's getting a reach block, sometimes he struggles versus guys that are bigger than him. But one of the notes about Abdul Carter is he's already bigger than Micah Parsons. 6'3", 253. Micah Parsons plays at about 245. So he's already bigger than him but they play the exact same way. He actually is probably better versus the run than Micah is right now. And so if you put that on your team, like I said, with the DeMarvin Overshone, with what you're gonna get out of Nealon and Micah Parsons, the possibilities could quite, it could be unlimited. The other note about Abdul Carter that I don't think that people are talking about, he has a very good feel versus tackles that overset. So what I mean by this is this, when tackles jump set him because when you're a speed rusher like that they jump set he has a great feel of turning speed to power so they'll jump set he'll see it he'll use his long arm and what he'll do is turn that speed to power like the guy is a mature rusher he's number three on dane brugler's big board and rightfully so i think that if teams don't know how to use him because he's played so much off ball and he doesn't have that 290 that 280 that 270 frame so there might be teams that don't say that say man he's not a true dn i'm not one of those people you use this guy as a chess piece and if you're drafting the top 10 let's say what happens every year teams get quarterback happy quarterback happy and abdul carter is staring you in the face as much as i love the weapons in this draft especially at the top i probably take abdul carter it's your boy fuster king more scouting reports are coming so this is how it's going to work on the channel Yes, we are going to do Cowboys topics, but you guys are going to be very prepared for the draft. We're doing two prospects a week leading up to the senior bowl, and we're turning it up to about three. So content, content is going to be coming your way. You guys are going to be prepared dealing with me. You're getting a mock draft a week, and you're getting prospect breakdowns a week. So offense and defense. So thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you guys for growing with me. As always, it's your boy Foots. Peace.